up everybody Steven here from off the shelf movie night to do a little quick little unboxing for you um, if you like this kind of stuff physical media blu-rays and 4k's and all the cinema stuff then uh, you're at the right spot and I hope you subscribe and if you like what you see hit that like button now I'm not gonna lie I messed this video up I've done it before so the unboxing I'm gonna do um, things have already been unboxed it is what it is. These are still really exciting things. I got one thing from Paramount here, sent to me uh, by PR people that I uh, write for pretty often, and then a purchase from Macari. Let's start with that one. And what I got from Macari, I've been trying to score this for a while, is Candyman. Now it's weird, this movie, for some weird reason, in the aftermarket has been going for more than uh, it goes for on, uh, uh, you know, on Amazon. Um, well, at least I didn't open it yet, right? So this starts Tony Todd, um, based on Clive Barker. Uh, I think it's a novella. Not really a short story, but a novella. I've always loved this film. It's getting some Shout Factory love now because of uh, Jordan Peele's remake that's coming. Um, I didn't get it with a slipcover. I love the slipcovers, don't get me wrong, but very seldom am I willing to pay, you know, an extra $10 for a movie, or $15 sometimes, or even more, because the slipcovers go out of print, just to get it in a slipcover. Um, as long as I'm still getting that premium presentation that they're offering, which is the new transfer and the bonus features. So, I did get that. Slipcover would have been nice, but I'm, like I said. But I finally, ooh, 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 we got a floater. Um... I'm happy to add this, and finally I got it online at a reasonable price. Um, it was Branding Factory sealed, so I was willing to pay that price. Um, but you know, Macari has gone way up in their shipping. So we've got a two to set here, and we do have reversible artwork. Let me get these discs out. Sorry, this is thrilling TV. Um, so we've got the original artwork that's the original poster, and as far as I know, that's the original uh, home video uh, home video presentation. I don't know, uh, one of these is a director's cut, and then we have an original cut, and I'm not from, for sure about what we're having as far as bonus features here. If you want me to want to see a bonus features breakdown, let me know. Uh, it looks like there's substantial things. I'll be happy to do that. So, if you haven't seen Candyman, this is um, this is not your typical jump scare kind of film. This is more of a uh, uh, sort of creep thing, creepy fest thing. Uh, there's a little wrinkle there, I think, in the cover. That's annoying. All right, and I know this is really quick and short, but this is I just had these two, wanted to share them with you because that one was great. This one is really exciting. So I'm gonna this up. And uh, this is something I've been trying to get into this paperwork from Paramount. I've been trying to get into these for a really long time, and you just can't find these in the stores, which is annoying. This is part of the Paramount Selects Blu-ray line, and it is Ghost. It starts Patrick Swayze, um, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Demi Moore. Not exactly my cup of tea, film-wise. I will be interested to re uh, revisit it, because I haven't seen it in so long. But basically, uh, Patrick Swayze, I believe he's a police officer. He gets killed. Um, Demi Moore has to solve his murder with the help of a psychic who can talk to Patrick Swayze's uh, ghost. So uh, it's a very, very classic, um, very, very classic uh, romance. You know, thriller, romance kind of combo deal. Um, so there's the front. And you can see the spine there is numbered, number eight in this series. And it kills me because I wanted to get Pretty in Pink, but I have yet to be able to find it in stores. And I know I could order it from Amazon, and I probably will. It's just, you know, Paramount's going to do this killer line. Why can't we get him at Best Buy? So one of the great things, and we just had this discussion about slipcovers and whatnot. These slipcovers are beautiful, though. Um... See, it's got a little tilt to it, and it's just the way Paramount packaged it. I really hate that. Um, but I'll show you what's special about this slip in a, in a second. First, we pull it out. We have the front there, and then the back. 
don't know about special features. There are a, a few special features here. I have to compare to previous releases because I have this weird feeling that sometimes um, the classic you know, bonus features that were done per, for DVD releases and that kind of thing have not been brought over. On occasion, I do know that they're doing very small new special features. Why wouldn't you bring over the, the previously released special features? I don't understand that. I just don't get it. So let's crack into it. Uh, we've got zero disc art there. Uh, but we do have uh, not disc art, but some photos from the film there on the inside. That's kind of neat. You know, we've got quote, um, uh, I like the idea of spiritual love story. I wanted it to be uh, funny, heartfelt, and intense. Um, coming from the, uh, uh, is that Jerry Zucker? Uh, is that is that who that, uh, I can't hardly read this, for, uh, the, the print is very small. But that's really cool, you know? Uh, these do lean into the creators behind these films quite a bit, and, and that is great. So anyway, to the main event, the slipcover, you know, as you've seen the front and back, but what they do with these these Paramount special releases that I really love is they pop open and they show you the original poster art from the film. Beautiful slips. Um, so again, while I'm not necessarily going to buy a film or spend more for a film to get that special slip cover, uh, is great to have it. And it's got that Paramount uh, tag there. And again, it's fine number eight. This is the eighth film in that series. And I will not be a completist on these. I can tell you that right now. I, that's, I know there are some people that are excited about these uh, Paramount uh, Presents releases. I like that they're going with a clear case, kind of like Criterion and, and uh, Arrow Video. Uh, I won't be a completist because I don't like a lot of the films that they've put out. Um, they put out Days of Thunder, which is really weird because if you like that film, there's a 4K also, which is going to offer the the superior quality of image and sound so why would you get not why would you get this release and not the 4k I don't I don't I don't know I, I'm not clear what's happening with what's happening here now some films like this one that may not even get a 4k release okay fine I understand although I mean this one probably should it's a very popular film um, but yeah I, I won't be picking that one up I don't care for days of thunder that much um, it has its fans, you know, those racing fan, racing movie fans and whatnot. Um, but I do want Flashdance. I want um, uh, a few of them. A few of them. You know, they've got King Creole by, you know, the Elvis film. Not really my cup of tea. You know, it would be interesting to see the transfer on that one because it's an older film. But not for me. So I won't be a completist on these, but there are a lot of these that I really want. Right now I've got my eye on... Uh, pretty in pink because and then that's another romance film and uh, you know I'm complicated because I had nothing but horror films and now I'm talking about two romance films back to back which is uh, uh, pretty pink and, and now this one and and, and I don't know it, this one's probably going to remain in my collection because it is a true classic my girlfriend's going to really like it um, and since it was sent to me I like having it in the collection um, these these are so neatly packed. I love the packaging on these, and you know, they're classics of the of the era in which they were made. So I can't wait to crack into it and review it and see what I think. Have you picked this up? Have you seen this movie before? Let me know in the comments what you think. And will you be picking this up? Are you collecting all of these? Do you have all eight of the original Paramount Presents line so far? Um, and how do you think they compare to some of our other boutique? Uh, companies like Aero Video and, and whatnot. What I do know is in the realm of 4Ks, uh, Paramount is doing some really great stuff. I really started to pay attention with to Paramount's 4K presentations with It's a Wonderful Life because that one blew my mind. It was beautiful. Um, I don't know that their other 4Ks have gone to so, uh, you know, like the extreme like lengths uh, in restoration, but the other 4Ks that I've seen from Paramount since you know, picking up It's a Wonderful Life have been really great. Anyway, I'm rambling now because I'm really excited. I'm excited to finally have one of these in my collection and to get a look at it and review it and, and you know, kind of have an opinion on the quality of these releases because they have been confounding me a little bit because, you know, some of them are coming out in 4K also. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, sub, like, share, do all the things. I'll do it for you too. 
Um, until next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family, and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV. I'll see you guys on the next one.